YouTube, how the frick you doing? Um, so, uh, yes, um, I do come out of a pen and whatnot. So, so yes, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to show you real quick um, what comes with the thing. I already pre-opened it, so I'm probably sure that you guys know what the what's in here, what's not in here. So yes, um, so I got my stuff from Empty Vapor Baker dot com really good um for beginners I would say um charge charge it first um at least four to eight hours before starting so yes um so I did pre open it so so yeah, so yeah, um, there are a lot of things you can do with this box, like buy a thing of film or something. Um, depending on what you want to do, you could put you could put square, you can put squares, put a vapor your vapor in there. Steep. I don't know how many people of you would do that but so yeah let me show you um right now I do have one of my vapors charging so so yeah so it kind of it does come with a USB charger it does come with the the core unit um, this uh, one right here is at 2.2 ohms. So, so yeah. So when you get when you get your box, this right here is gonna be sitting just side by side with each other. And right now, the the one I would recommend. It's the cheesecake because I think it doesn't need to be as steep as it should. But um, if you are a real beginner, please watch this video because there are a couple of things you would like to I would like to know. So here's a couple of questions for you. Um, if you smoke. Uh, Cigarettes. I I do jump. I do the David Jumbo seeds and stuff. So if I run out of juice or anything, and you like, hey, I want to snack on something to get my mind off of this. Grab some David C or your favorite type of seeds or anything. So yeah. Um, right now, um, yeah. So this will actually come in the box. It will say that you need to, uh, go to KrogerTech.com. And uh, for most people, they do. Some people don't. Uh, on here, on this, there should be a patents number. Um, like for... Like down in this area at the bottom, I do believe that's a patent number. So, yeah, okay. <clears throat> and let's get the second part. Where it is Oh, okay. So, everything does come with a manual. So, um, Basically, it's simple. So I want to show you this. Um, that's probably what's gonna it's gonna look like and stuff. So I'm gonna read to you what it should come with. If it doesn't, 
please go empty bake uh, vapor baker because um they will try to figure everything out so basically what you do is that the cake is supposed to contain um two six fifty um M A H of a battery, which it's already in the bottom part. Um, it comes with customizers. Um, customizers are the top part where you're gonna fill your juice. Then you have one USB and then five coil units which are simple to do it. Um, a lot of the people forget that, um, let's do this for a second. So I just locked it. So see how I'm pushing the button? No battery is gonna go out or no, nothing. So stay with the manual. If you if you have just a bot, an Evo, I recommend four to eight hours, at least. And I got I got this working today, so I am actually proud. So, and it says um in the very back, if you're still new, it says the Evo. Is a high tech device to maintain its functioning while you should use as direct. Do not use the device if the charger is empty. All right. Avoid welding, welding the battery directly, punch ring, making holes. If you are not a modder or have not gone to a modder, this is better. Other than my throat, if you can't tell, I have had a surgery, and I figured if this is good for your lungs, it might actually help your neck or your trachea, but it's everybody's opinion. So yeah, in the manual it says, do not use any other USB. Because you will, you could end up blowing the battery. All right, the first charge is mandatory. The less you charge battery, then if you take it off, put it on, take it off, take it, off, it will damage, damage the EVAD. So yeah, um. Sorry about the ministry, guys. I'm, I'm like, ugh, right now. So, when you get your charger done and it's done charging and stuff, mine is kind of a little bit different because it didn't show the red or the blue. I don't know if this is the newer newer model still but um it looks good so one of the things i do want to let you guys know is when you start vaping the lip the lip of the thing you breathe to inhale will actually change the cloud So it's pretty simple. So um, it's it's pretty simple. When you charge, you have to be quick on the button. Two seconds. If you just go, okay, hit once, not gonna work. Hit it five times, then push the button, it'll work. So let me show you real quick. So. It takes time to get it down, and now it's unlocked. 
And then for me, right now, I got a cheesecake 50-50 um, blend, uh, 12 nicotine level. The higher you go, the more burn you're going to feel. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm pushing the button. Hear that noise? Note that this is a 50-50 blend. I got three others I'm steeping right now. So that video will come later. So yeah, um, so here's a smart thing if you want to do. Because it says, um, and, um, what I do is I take a, um, a planner's, planner's peanut, anything. And then what I do is I buy a bandana because if it's still dirty underneath, you don't want all that crap around. So what you do is dark bandana. Dark bandana works perfectly. Um, I'm trying to get this video short. Um, I went from e hookah to this, which is the battery. It has the, the little stuff in the front and stuff. So yeah, um, let's see, anything else? Make sure four to eight charging area for hours. <clears throat> Guys, let me show you this. One, not working. Three and now working. Five. Okay? Then you can push the button. <coughs> so, yeah. Lock it again. You know, it's blinking, it's locked. So if you try to go and try to push the button again, if that light's on, it's not locked. So yeah, um, let me see if I can pull on my flavors real quick. If I can in this video, which I didn't load. So the sugar cookie is the one that's steeping right now. So they gave me a bonus. Um, the cake, which is a 12 milligram nicotine. Not strong. It is easy to make. This is a blend um, 80 PG out of 20 P PG. Um, uh, this is a 15 milli, uh, milliliter bottle. I have not tried this yet. Um, this is my cheesecake. Um, I know the high name's hard to see, but that is in fact cheesecake. This one is a 12 milligram, just like this one. This uh, bullet 15, um, uh, 12 milligram nicotine, 50-50, uh, just like I said. Uh, they have the day when they made it. So if it does not taste like cheesecake, steep it. Means just take the cap, take that. Here's a thing that I would like to tell everybody: is if you take the, the, the cap off, what I think it's easier is take this, put it in there, and then 
So then you just leave it, put the cap on, shake it, good. No hassle, no problem. So yeah. One thing I do want to say is I am skinny. Some people are different, some people are not. Just depends on what flavors you have. I recommend MT Vapor Baker because they get more flavors. They get a wine, they get they get fruits, they get uh bakery stuff. So yeah. If you do not know how to steep, it's simple. Uh, I showed you take the lid, take the cap, put it somewhere. I recommend you if you really want to get three different style like plastic plates, put one, one and one, and then separate them. The ones that need to be steeped a lot. Um take the lid. Um with how I showed you. And then put it in the cubby. Make one shelf. Just for your vaping needs. It's not much. So yeah, um, I really hope this video helped. Um, so yeah, this is Gamer Man eighty seven one. Oh, you and YouTube. We'll see you later.